Stay humble. You know, stay hungry. Don't get too cocky. You can be as cocky as you want, but you got to have that work behind it. Like, stay in the studio. Read them contracts. Study the game. Study your favorite artists. All that type of shit matter. Because you have a big song. You need to doubt when somebody could have told you, like, I'll oh, keep going. Stay in the studio. Do something with him. Look at his streams. Your streams are his match. They want to see. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be that type of stuff that, that, that really matters. So it's just like, stay home. Just regular studio session. It was book a song. Um, he ain't finished it, so I just got the whole song from him and just turned it to a super vibe. But I felt it. It's every day what we go through, the hate, the love, the phoniness, the, um, the doubt. And I just put all that into my head and just get, on, get the recording. He told me it's all love, but I love all. I'm cash apping a couple hundred when I'm my brother call. Sometimes I like to scan the laugh like I'm a bubble mall. The phony, the fake, and still try to be around. So you just tell him like it's all love, but you you don't play with it already. Like you ain't slipping about nothing. Like just on your toes, ten toes, they can't tell you anything. And even if you know it's fake, you is all love. Don't you tell them it's all love. But okay, cool, it's all love. No problem. And as you get that type of vibe out. The rumors, the the artists, the, the guys around the neighborhood, um, whoever just like talk down on your name or say something about you that they hope don't happen. Man, he ain't got no, he ain't got no money or he ain't on the chart. It's like now I'm belittling y'all, like proving the point, like showing y'all. Anyone scandalizing my name, like my buddy. It was a joke when he copped out. Now he wanna jump the wall. Them niggas always was some goofy getting jumped at malls. Don't be in that position, like. Try, try your best to avoid the position because, you know, some people can't go back uh flights to leave out of town or got family members to depend on when you want to get out the trenches. So it's just like trying to think smart and just change change the the company around you. You know what I'm saying? Who used to the jails and used to the violence. You know what I'm saying? Because you still got a chance. You're not dead. You ain't get 20 years in jail. If you got here on your feet, it's like you got another chance. I was tired of fucking. There's one more con I made the con fall. From stalling Dean jackets, that shit turned to Gucci scars. Like, fuck the whole world, no matter who I'm going. I'm big on clothes. Like, I like fashion. I love it. Back then, stalling Dean was like shit when you got the stalling Dean jacket with the matching hat, the ears and flaps. So it was like, at the time, it was like, this was in. But in this area, it's like, oh, Gucci. So it's just like, I, I, I stayed the same, but I leveled up. It's all love, man, it's all love, it's all love. You thinking somebody love you, you thinking somebody for you, you think they care about you, but they show you different. All the bad, the bad seeds, the negative energy. Um, why I supposed to be in the studio, I'm doing this with y'all. So it's like, it's on me to grow. It, it was for me to cut them off. You know what I'm saying? It's not even necessarily them because they don't know more than what they know. So you can't even blame them. It's on you. It's all love. You can't love me without my brother cause it's all us. I'm off a perk, my brother duty off a small bus. I'm a baller when I pass the ball, I yell hut. Gotta watch them cheesy, sneaky bitches, they be still a nut. I talk down on the trench and holding them there well, I still fuck. But the money keep me insane. Just everything is moving fast, going crazy. Coming from nothing, just getting rich is like, damn, keep me crazy. I always been the type to be like, I don't wanna go to the club yet until we on them charts or until we Catch a number one, or until we got a song that's that's going crazy right now. Going there just to be going is like waste time to me. But I ain't know where the homie was when I was fucked up in the trenches. I ain't even know what Roly was. I used to look up to this nigga, but he gave his homie up because his daughter two years old and he got to do twenty one. That be the uh the main excuse when somebody said they snitching. Man, my daughter, my son, like you know what you was doing before you even jump into the streets. If you know you gonna tell, it's gone. Just get on, just start doing new life somewhere where you ain't gotta put yourself in that position to even tell and fuck somebody else's life up. Like, you making the police job easier. Make them work for their money. And don't fuck with no new niggas, cause them niggas don't owe me nothing. Grown niggas acting like kids, acting like they Benjamin Button. I put my own feet down for my lawyer, shit was 2100. Had a deep talk with my dog and he still wasn't coming. I say, with a gun and without a gun, I say he's still not running. And he told his gun like 50, but he's still 100. Ain't nobody perfect. There's nobody don't sit you down and tell you just down low. I had plenty of sit downs. Man, you run the streets too much. You getting your money and spending it all on this. Everything I learned, I take it to the people who look up to me or who I talk to on a daily basis. I tell them, like, look, you can do this and that. It's all love. I thought it was real. I took a perfect self with no, I'm trying to pop a pill. They trying to prove a point to pop up first, they ain't your dog for real. 
I gotta acknowledge the lamb truck because I had a Bonneville. I don't get mad when they tell me no nah, because I know my mama will. She was down, staying 10 toes when my daddy was doing life before he came back off his appeal. So it was like, my mama was my mama and my daddy. It's just important because even when she ain't have it, she made sure we had it. Or she, and if we didn't have it, she explained, like, I'm on my own, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? So if I know, like, if we all friends, this is grammar school, though. Like, this is like long time ago. So, like, my, if we don't do with each other friends, it's like, my mama do it. Oh, Jordan, some joints to come out. Man, go have with me, bro. My mama gonna do it. She a bound. But everybody ain't got that mama figure, you know what I'm saying? Or that father figure, so. That's why when you, when you have it, you just gotta cherish. Different niggas. They rockin' Polo, I'm rockin' Tommy Hill. Trenches niggas. They said they gonna do it when it's time to kill. First time was the throw off on the background when I signed the deal. When I uh, first signed the deal, it was doing all the wrong, all the wrong stuff with the money. Probably just blowing the money on unnecessary things. Um, wasn't sticking to what I was saying. Like, the example, like I'd be like, man, I'm finna buy a house. I'm finna buy full clothes. I'm finna resell it. But when the money came, it was different. It was like, nah, I'ma wait. I'm gonna go back to Gucci belt. So that's why I told myself, like, next time when I get out, that deal with some more money, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I do the right thing. They say his favorite scissor, no, nah, he's the one I love the most. I brought her two, three diamond chokers because she loved the choke. 1942 with a small pill, she loved the boat. Dirky yo, smirky yo, yeah, she loved the gold, yeah. I love them G-locks. Get away from all the phone, you niggas, I had the detox. They don't even shoot that niggas no more, they love the beatbox. Walked up out your life with a pair of socks, it was 200, that's them G-socks. It just like, walked up out the life. Walked up out that bullshit. I walked that expensive though. It was just some slick shit. Walked up out your life with a pair of socks, it was 200, that's some G-socks, which is Gucci. When I make music, I, I don't get up out the chair until the whole studio like, damn, boy, that shit hot. Like, that's how I know. But if I, if I do a song in the studio, just like, I delete the whole song. 